Hi guys, and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to show you how you can print large posters at home with your own A4 printer. Okay guys, so what you need to do is open up your browser and type in poster razor. Okay, so once you google it, this is the first one that is going to come on here just click the download button I've already done it obviously um, and then once it's installed on your computer just open that up there so this is very user friendly it's just drag and drop and stuff like that so just bring your image from wherever you have it and drop it on there Okay, once that's done, you're going to go ahead and choose if you want portrait or landscape. Um, obviously, that that's totally up to what size you want your poster and stuff like that. Okay, the overlapping size is going to be uh, how much you want them to overlap, so pretty self-explanatory. So this is the part where you're going to glue them to each other. You can play around with size, as in if you want the width three pages exactly or the height three pages exactly or whatever however so we'll go ahead and choose that size that's over there and then it's going to ask you to save the poster okay this is where we're going to go and type in whatever we want and where we want to save it so I'm going to just save it as whatever blah 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 and save okay so now once it's saved it will normally launch the poster and there we go let me just and there we go you can see all the pages that you're going to print out individually okay so we're going to go ahead and print that out okay guys so once you've printed out your poster mine's running low on ink or my printer's messing up somehow but you know you can get this to whatever quality you want obviously depending on what quality you start with so getting on with it uh, basically once you've printed that off you're either going to need some glue or some tape it can be any kind of tape or any kind of glue um, and you're going to need some scissors or an exacto blade or knife or whatever okay now obviously start laying it down I'm going to try and get the whole thing in view so so basically you can see what you end up with okay I chose six um, pages you can choose as many as you want okay so now we have to cut off the excess and it doesn't really matter which way you do this and you don't have to be very accurate so you can either use your scissors or that or you can use and you can use a rule or just do it like that as I say you don't need to be very accurate because there is a margin to overlay so I normally cut a little bit inside of my drawing so I have that overlaying space so I don't end up with white bits
Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked the video, please hit the like button. Uh, if you like my videos, subscribe for other cool videos. Check out my other videos and I will catch you soon.